everybody. It is Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness. And um, I want to just jump on the live for just a couple minutes because I was, I've was i been talking to some of my clients and um, one of the things that I said to them is kind of like something I think everybody could c kind of chew on for a little bit and see if it's true for them or not. Um, so if you are new to Shape It Up, thank you so much for being here. My name is Nicole and I'm a personal trainer at Shape It Up Fitness and I help women over 40 get fit, be fierce and have no limits in what they decide to do with their lives. Um, so I basically take you on a journey to your goals. So if you want to find uh, more out about Shape It Up Fitness or request a free phone consult with me, you can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. Um, so one of the things that I've been talking to my clients about <clears throat> is this idea of a lot of times people wait until the very last minute to really decide to start on their fitness journey, to really decide to lose the weight, to lose the inches, to lose the pounds, to get healthy, to get fit. And I presented this with them and I wanted to share it with you guys because I feel like everybody could really benefit from this to an extent. So what I said to them is I said I want you to imagine that you went to the doctor and or your physician or whoever and they basically said, now stay with me here, <laughs> they said you have six months to live. Then they said but if you lose 20 pounds in those six months, you will not only live, but you'll live for an extra 30, 40 years. How many of you would lose those 20 pounds that you keep dragging around? Is that enough of the tipping point to kind of push you over and make the commitment and really decide like, yes, I am in, I want an extra 30 to 40 years of my life. I don't want to die in six months. What would you do and how would your life be different in those six months? Um, and I know somebody had jokingly said that they were going to starve themselves, which is not the answer because you'd wind up killing yourself anyway. Um, but you know, and I think some people are kind of fearful when they think about that, like because that could really happen in the sense that you could go to the doctor today or tomorrow and they could be like, you're a diabetic, um, it's really bad. If you don't take care of this, you know, this is what's going to happen. Or, you know, you could have a heart attack at any moment. I'm not, if you know me at all, I am not doom and gloom. <laughs> and it's not so much, I don't want to like, scare you but at the same time it's like why do we have to get to the point where you are scared or where your life is on the line and where it's kind of to the point where you know you either do it or awful things are going to happen to you my daughter's going to come in in a second hold on hi i'm doing a live video do you want to say hi <laughs> i think she has opted not <laughs> Okay. So my point in telling you this is, again, not to scare you half to death, but it's to really kind of take a look at your life and be like, what is really holding you back? Why have you not, especially if you're one of these people that, you know, if you're over 40 and it's been three decades where you're like, I really have to lose weight. I really have to drop these so many pounds, whatever. If that is your constant dialogue every day, then either you really don't want to do it or you just don't have the right tools to do it. So again, take that thought with a grain of, of salt. Um, if you're just coming on, the thought is that if you went to the doctor today and they told you you had six months to live, but if you lost 20 pounds, you would live for 30 or 40 years, what would you do differently in your life today that would be different? Um, some of you might be start walking or um, maybe you would join a gym, maybe you would hire a coach, maybe, who knows? You know, we're all different people and have different ideas of how we wanna live our lives. Maybe some of you are like, yeah, six months, I'm good, I'm out of here, whatever, I'm gonna enjoy life and that's it. See you, kiddo. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, door is very squeaky. Um, 
you know, so everybody's answer is going to be different, but um, it, it is something to think about. Like, why does it really take people a life-threatening decision or, or diagnosis in order to move forward and take action on what you say you want to get? All right, so that is all for me today. Um, remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. And if you are interested in jumping on a phone call with me, I am offering, I am offering um, one hour, about one hour, 15 minutes or so, consults for free. Um, we can just talk and maybe I can kind of direct you and help you. Now my dog is scratching. What do you want, doggy? <laughs> anyway, if you're interested in jumping on a call with me, go ahead over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. Happy to set up a time with you and maybe I can give you a little help in the direction that you want to go. All right, so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.